Hi everyone, I'm Jake, and this video shows how to install SecureCRT. So right here I'm in Windows Explorer, and I've browsed to the Downloads folder where the SecureCRT installer was saved by my web browser. To start installing SecureCRT, I'll double-click the file I downloaded. This message allows me to verify that the installer is legit. It's published by us here at Van Dyke Software. So I'll click Yes to continue. Here the MSI gets extracted, and here's the welcome screen for the installer. License owners can check upgrade eligibility here. I'm moving on to the next screen. Here you see the end user license agreement for Secure CRT. Be sure you read through to get a sense of exactly what the end user license allows. If you're in agreement, indicate it by choosing I accept and then go to the next screen. The installer creates a start menu program group for Secure CRT and an optional desktop icon. Since I'm running the installer as an administrator, I can make the shortcuts available for everyone on my machine or just for myself. I'm sticking with the default and moving on to the next screen. If I desire to customize what gets installed in any way, I can do so here by choosing the custom option and then I can eliminate features of the installation if I want. For example, I could eliminate non-secure protocols like Telnet and so on, but I'm not that particular so I'll just go back and choose the complete option. Do I want a desktop icon? I do, so I'll enable the option and move on to the next screen. Now all I have to do is press the install button and wait for the installation to complete. There you have it, the basics of installing SecureCRT on Windows.